Hey guys, Jamie with PC Monkey here. I'm bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to delete a bunch of different cache in different places stored on your computer. Uh, and hopefully this will free up a lot of space on your computer. You could be trying to do a variety of tasks such as factory resetting, uh, which some tasks will prompt you to free up disk space. Um, or you just want to clean up your computer. Either way, this video should help you out with a bunch of different locations where you can find it. It is true, you can probably do this with a lot of downloaded software. There's a ton of stuff out there that can help you clean this stuff out. However, I like making videos showing you the manual way to do it. Um, if you can ever get away with doing anything without downloading software, I always like doing that. Uh, that way you don't have to deal with downloading it or paying for it. Uh, or, or renewing subscriptions for it. Uh, so I'm going to show you a bunch of different areas where you can get rid of this cache. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. If you don't see yours there, leave me a comment. I do try to get back to you a few times a day. Uh, so now let's get into it. So the first location that I'm going to show you where you can delete some stuff is uh, there's a couple different ways of getting there. I like clicking on your Windows button on your keyboard plus R. That'll pull up the run command. Uh, you can also go down to your Windows key here and right click and select run. So there's a couple different ways of getting here. But when you're here, you're going to type in percent, temp, percent, and then you're going to click on enter. That will open up this folder here and all this stuff in here, this is all stuff you don't need. You can highlight all of it and you can delete it. It may ask you to verify an administrator permission, or it may ask you to confirm you want to do this. Either way, just hit continue. If it says that anything is currently being used, I don't really care to figure out why. I'll just always hit skip. If it says it's using it, then I'm not going to deal with it. Again, you need to provide administrator permission and continue. And as you can see, a lot of that stuff is, is gone. So that's your first location and where to delete a lot of stuff. The next location, if you come down here to your file explorer icon on the bottom, we'll open that. This PC will come over to C drive. Uh, open your Windows folder and then scroll down to software distribution and open that folder. And then you'll see a folder here called download. All of this stuff can also be deleted. And I should have shown you on the last spot, but I'll highlight this and then I'll right click and hit properties just to give you an idea of the size. So this is looking like almost four megabytes. The other one was almost three times as long uh, list wise. Yours is probably going to be a lot uh, larger. This computer, I pretty much only use this for YouTube videos. So if, if this was my uh, personal computer, this would be a lot larger. So just before you delete it, just right click, select properties, and it'll give you an idea of how much uh, data you're looking to free up space for. So we'll just cancel that. We'll go ahead and delete this as well. Continue. Again, continue. Continue. You know what? That's a nice little checkbox to save time. So that's the second location that we're going to delete some cache from on your computer. The third location, I'm going to go into the run command again. So I'm going to go the Windows key on my keyboard and R, open that up. And instead of typing temp percent percent, I'm just going to type in temp. And I'm going to hit enter. So again, here you can delete all this content. I'm just going to hit properties just to look at how much this is. Okay, we're looking at 782 kilobytes. So again, your computer may be um, higher or lower depending on your use. So again, you can delete all of this. And this stuff generally doesn't hurt your computer. This is all temp stuff. If your computer does need to access these things, it'll just re-download them again as it needs to. So that's your next spot that you would look. So the fourth place I'm going to take you, I'm going to open up the run command again. And this time I'm going to type in prefetch, P-R-E-F-E-T-C-H, prefetch, just like it sounds, enter. So again here, you can delete all of this content. 
quite a long list. Check and see how much this is. Looking at almost 10 megabytes. Delete. So as you can see, it's really starting to add up again, um, the amount of stuff that we're able to delete here. The next spot I'll show you how to delete um, is related to your Windows Store. As a side note, this is a good way to reset your Windows Store if you're actually having issues with it. If it's not behaving itself, this is a good way to reset it. So I'm going to open up Run Again and type in W S Reset. So this opens up your command prompt and automatically starts resetting your store. So just be patient with it. You don't have to do anything here. It's doing it behind the scenes and it'll let us know when it's done. Okay, the next step that I'm going to show you how to do is how to clear the cache in your browser. Now the one I'm going to use is Microsoft Edge. That's what's on my computer. I will have links in the description below on other browsers. If, if you're not sure how to do it on other browsers like Firefox or Chrome, it should be the general same way you're going to see down here. Uh, but if you can't figure it out, again, I will have links down below in the description uh, showing you specific other browsers where you can do this. But I'm going to open Microsoft Edge or whatever browser you're using. I'm going to go over here to the three dots in the top right hand corner. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to come down to settings. So it could be on this main screen here, scroll down and check, or it could be on your privacy and, and security tab. But where it says clear browsing data, I'm going to click on choose what to clear. And you can go down and click on any one of these you want or all of them and then you can hit clear. Uh, as a side note down here, you see this is off. Always clear this when I close the browser. You can select that on, and all this will be cleared every single time you close your browser down. Uh, so that's nice too if, if you want to really stay on top of this. So that's how you would clear the cache in your browser. Another place you can get rid of some cache, go over here to your Windows button, right click and hit settings, Scroll down to where you find privacy. Scroll down to where you see location. And it says location for this device is on. Scroll down and you can clear location history on this device. So that's another place where you can clear some data uh, if you're looking to free up space. Another way where you can find some things to get rid of is uh, go down to your search bar again and type in CMD that will bring up your command prompt. Right click on it and select run as administrator. So when this comes up, you're going to type in ipconfig forward slash flush DNS. Just like that. And hit enter. So it's another spot where you can find cache to get rid of. Another spot you can go to is down here in your search bar again, type in clean. And this will pop up this app right here, your disk cleanup app. So we'll open that up. And again, you can come down here, you can click through all these things, downloads, Windows error reports, uh, temp files, your recycle bin. Again, this is another spot where you can click off all the boxes you want. Uh, to get rid of, and you look at these sizes here, 18 megabytes, 96, 90, um, it frees up a good amount of data. Click on clean up system files. Okay, so that just deleted a ton of that, and then as you can see here, Windows Defender antivirus files, and again, all this stuff, if your computer does need this again, it will re-download it. This is all just temporary files that don't need to be there. Okay, so the last place that I'm going to show you, uh, sometimes on your computer, restore points. You don't hear of that a lot. I, I find they miss that in a lot of videos, but restore points tend to take up a lot of room, especially if you have multiple ones. So to clean up your restore points, here's what you're going to do. Go back down to your space bar and type in system restore. Okay, and there's your create or restore point on a control panel. Click on that. We'll open that up. You, you can see the local disk C is on. So we're going to hit configure. 
and it says current usage zero. Again, um, this is just a YouTube computer. This is not my personal computer. So you're probably going to see varying sizes of data used here. What you'll want to do is you'll want to, after you've cleaned up your computer like we've just shown you, you're going to want to delete all of the restore points here. Hit OK. And then you want to create one. When you're back at this screen, hit create. And you can create a restore point. I'll call mine clean. Uh, but you can create a restore point now that your computer's cleaned out. A lot of the temp files are gone, a lot of the cache is gone. Uh, you can create one single restore point here. And again, some of you will find you have multiple restore points. Uh, some people ha have a ton, and that takes up a lot of room. So again, those are a ton of different spots where you can go in, clean up some cache, free up some space. And if you want, uh, before you delete all those, do the right click in properties, and you can keep track of how much space you're clearing up. Uh, so if you have any questions, again, leave them for me below. I'll get back to you guys a few times a day. Uh, please like and share if this helped you out, and please subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer work. Thanks for watching, guys.